Welcome to a day in the life in the Airstream with a newborn. Honestly, Dash is a pretty good sleeper, but last night we had a little bit of an episode where he threw up. <laughs> Here's the evidence. <laughs> Hello, smiley baby. Stretch. <laughs> So, the first thing we do every morning is check his diaper, and he always wants to eat. So, <laughs> we're gonna do that first. For the sake of him seeing this when he's older, we're gonna skip you actually getting to watch the diaper changing part. <laughs> Lauren is changing baby Dash. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the morning festivities, which include coffee. I do have to say that before baby, Daniel and I made our own coffee slash tea first thing in the morning. And he has taken that very important responsibility. It's very much appreciated. He actually makes a really mean matcha latte now. I'm sure it's probably just first time parent thing, but I read an article about you don't want to drink hot things over babies, so we have a rule around here. I'm sure by round two, we'll be pro and not worried about it, but Dash and I sit here and I drink my tea and we play and talk. It's a slower kind of morning than we used to have. Good morning, little Dash. One of us is about to go for a run this morning but eventually maybe both of us will go for a run. Who knows? I'm not gonna put that kind of pressure on him, but if you would like to go running with daddy later, he may. All right, as crazy as this sounds, and if you followed our channel, you already know we're a little bit crazy. We are also, besides raising maybe Dash, training for our next marathon, which happens to be the October marathon in Chicago, officially called the Chicago Marathon. Now, Training has been anything but routine this go around. Laura and I will typically trade off runs in the morning, uh, whereas in the past we maybe could have gone for a run together. So what we do is, so for instance right now, I'm gonna go knock out some mileage, I'll come back, I'll watch Dash while Lauren goes for her run, and that's basically what we've been doing so far. Now, do we train as hard as we typically do? As of right now, maybe not so much. Um, there are mornings when we get up and we're just absolutely exhausted and it's either training or sleep. And in my instance, I think sleep is one more so than even training, but Lauren's been pretty much a champion and she's been maintaining her schedule a lot more than I have. Um, I am kind of going off of a loose schedule, whereas Lauren actually keeps her schedule on the fridge here, which is really, really cool. So she's like ticking off the boxes every day. She's got a plan in place. <sighs> My plan is just to run as many miles and not suffer during the marathon, which again, if you know, if you run a marathon, you're gonna suffer no matter what. So um, that it is what it is, but ultimately wouldn't trade it for the world because now we have baby Dash and Although life has changed, it's changed for the better. So no regrets whatsoever. It should make this marathon coming up pretty interesting. More details to follow on that and how you can become a part of our next marathon experience. But if you haven't seen our New York City marathon experience, check out that video here or here or here, or maybe here, wherever we decide to place that video, check it out. We try to plan who runs first according to how sleepy Baby Dash is. Because he's still at that phase where I'm his favorite person. And so if I go run for 30 minutes or an hour and he's not asleep, Dad can be in a pickle. So he always takes a morning nap. He only has like an awake time period of like an hour to two hours right now. So hopefully. Daniel will get back quickly so I can go run and there will not be a meltdown. But if there is, he can handle it. She is Dash's favorite person. 100% agree with that. There is, and if you're a parent, you get this, there's basically mama and then like everybody else is 
Not the mama. Just like kind of like that 80s sitcom with the dinosaurs. Not the mama. Not the mama. Not the mama. Not the mama. So when she goes for a run, I'm like, please don't lose your mind, you know, while she's gone. Um, because she's basically, at times, at times, not all the time, the only thing that can defuse that bomb when it goes off. So, yeah. So there's mama, and there's not the mama. One of the really cool things about our travels is that we've gotten to run in some beautiful places, and this park is no exception. We're at Pocahontas State Park in Virginia, and I'm gonna bring you for a little run so you can check it out. Let's do this. One of my favorite things about this park easily has been all the tree coverage. There's so much shade, which makes it a lot easier to cool your RV. And for those of you with the older kiddos, this thing that we're starting to see pop up at a lot of campgrounds. I'm not sure what it's called, so I'm gonna walk over. This right here behind me is called the Gaga Pit. And it has been hugely popular around the country. We're starting to see these pits pop up in a lot of places around the country. Any explanation as to what this game is, please comment in the description below because I have no idea. I just passed him on the camp post and he goes, you're super energetic this morning. And the reality is, I don't start that way. As you saw a little bit earlier, I start looking like a zombie out of bed. Usually it takes me about 30 minutes to get into my groove. But once I do, I'm amped up and ready to go. Another really cool thing, which is what I'm running on right now, is it's dual purpose. It's a mountain bike trail and it's a hiking trail. And the hikers stay to the right of the trail. Now, one of the really cool things is that around the park, there are a lot of offshoots that lead to trails. So there's plenty of places to go hiking and mountain biking. And if engaging in outdoor adventure is your thing, it's not a bad spot. One thing to note about this campground is that it does not offer full hookups, but you do have electrical and water. So there is a dumping station at the very beginning of the park, the entrance. So essentially, consider that when you're planning how many days you want to go without sewer hookup. And you also want to conserve water so you don't overflow your gray tank. One additional note, something I've noticed in circling the park is that it seems to be set up in quadrants. And don't quote me on this, but it appears each quadrant offers facilities, which include bathrooms, showers, and potentially washer dryers, but don't quote me on that. So, so you don't have to go too far to hit the showers. And as you can see behind me, there's a camp store located in the centralized portion of Pocahontas State Park. With everything included, and the fact that you can run without fear of getting hit by a car, I would give this state park a solid, solid four out of five flamingos. That's right, people. This park, four to five flamingos. So you'll definitely want to add this to your list. Once he goes down for his morning nap, I use this time, pending that I got a decent amount of sleep the night before, to play a little cleanup, which is in which is particularly important this morning because tomorrow we have a travel day, which means the Airstream needs to be spotless in order for us to move. Made progress. Less the dishes, but somebody's already awake again. Wanna hang out? Yeah, I figured so. He looks a little worn out. Okay, so six down, <sighs> starting to get a little humid out there. And if I'm being 100% honest with myself, filming while running is very, very tricky. Two things to add as well to this. I did talk to one of the park attendants as well. And there are only um, washer and dryer facilities at the main store, not in the individual quadrants, like I mentioned before. And two, besides the yurts, there are also cabins to rent here as well. So even if you don't have an RV, this is still a great place to come with family. Yes, I know it looks like we're putting him in a straight jacket, but this keeps him on his back and keeps him safe. He likes it. All right, and I'm off. Good luck, Daniel. Okay, I'm only 2.75 miles 
<laughs> I'm only 2.75 miles in, but I wanted to make sure the baby was okay before I finished the other half. And he looks like he's doing good. Daniel, is that true? Crushing it. Okay, then I'll keep going. Bye, Mom. Yeah, absolutely crushing it. Absolutely not crushing it. He's had a couple of meltdowns, but I couldn't film it because I was taking care of the little man. Um, but he is calm now, and that is what matters. Okay, just got back from my run. Five miles, longest one I've done on this training plan yet. Only had to walk a quarter of a mile of it, so I'm feeling pretty proud. But I think we need to check on Daniel because the baby isn't in the bed anymore. How you doing, Dee? I'm doing well. So he, I say real cried for the first time because usually he's just like, ah, 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 but he like sounded like a crying baby. Like I thought tears were coming down his face for the first time ever. I know, right? So I picked him up immediately and came back here and he just wanted to snuggle and then he was fine and then he fell asleep right away. Like that. So. It looks like if I'm going to do these long runs, I'm going to have to prep Daniel a bottle. Eek. Okay. Now for a shower because I'm disgusting. But before I shower, yes, I'm drinking a ton of water because I'm running. Super important as a mom, I've read a lot about this. If you're running and getting back into exercise, that you drink a ton of water while you're, since, what, that you drink a ton of water if you're breastfeeding. Cause well, your body's got a lot going on. Gotta turn on the water heater before I get a shower. So, gonna make some lunch while I wait. making one of my favorite veggie sandwiches and it has apple which is like the secret ingredient favorite ingredients. Yeah. Dana and I used to eat together a lot. Now it's more like one of us eats while the other takes a turn with the baby. But I'm gonna eat and then we'll swap because I'm absolutely positive in the very near future, baby is going to want to eat. And yes, the sandwich is messy. Daniel calls it my everything but the kitchen sink sandwich and says it's kind of a food challenge. If you can get it in your mouth, you win. Doesn't that look delicious? You may have noticed that all of my ingredients were already washed and cut up, or at least a majority of them were in plastic baggies. That's because here in Pocahontas State Park, we only have water and electric, no sewer. So I try to prep all of my veggies, especially the week in advance, um, if we're gonna be camping somewhere that's like that. So I'm conserving water, because cutting up that many veggies and cleaning them and all that jazz, yeah, water's a thing. Okay. When lunch completed, 
I'm gonna really push my luck and see if I can't get that shower in before the baby. Just checking the gray tank, 18%. Definitely a navy shower report. Shower complete, and I'm pretty sure this little guy is just showing off for y'all. Isn't he so cute? Little Dash is helping me. I am booking our flights to Chicago for the Chicago Marathon right now because it is only a handful of months away and since we're traveling with baby in the past we could fly by the seat of our pants but I'm trying to do more planning now so we're not scrambling at the last minute like we have in the past we need to be better planners and water check all right gray water 47 percent that's not my best navy shower but if you've been following along on our adventures it's a heck of a lot better than it used to be I'm sorry, what did you say the percentage was? It took me about 20% of the tank to take a shower. What's the percentage now? 47. This is a reason why our gray tank is currently called Lauren's tank. Because somebody fills it up a lot faster than the other person. Somebody's thinking about waking up. Hasn't quite decided yet. Look who's waking up. Yeah. You're very vocal. You went from like comatose to super active. Like a light switch. <laughs> I think somebody's ready for food. Quick diaper change and some days we actually all get out of PJs. Some days we don't. But I'm gonna go ahead and change him since I'm changing his diaper. And our organization system is working awesome. So I'm gonna get him something that has short sleeves and short pants considering it is kind of warm outside today. But I will say that originally when we brought Dash home, we were changing his diaper some on the kitchen table and just cleaning it off after each use. But now that he has gotten so long, and he's kind of showing signs of rolling over it made me too nervous so i always just change him on the sofa now oh that's a smile i see a smile what do you think do you like it yeah now that dash has got a snack in we're gonna do some tummy time we try to do that at least a couple of times a day he loves looking out at the windows yeah and back to dash's closets See, we've got a dedicated tummy time basket in here. We have this fun mirror that we got that is part of a Montessori play kit for kids his age. So he can check it, check himself out in the mirror. He thinks it's fun. <laughs> All right, let's roll over, ready? One, two, and three. Oh, who's that cute baby in the mirror? <laughs> yeah? Okay, let's get some leverage going here. <laughs> Push up on those legs. You got this. The struggle's buddy. real. You can do this. You can do this. Come on, little man. Come on. You got this. Give me one. Give me one. Look at that cute baby in the mirror. The only downside of tummy time is, uh, Trying to get down on my knees here. And we'll do all for this. One of these days, he's either gonna love the fact that we have this footage, or he's gonna hate us. To be determined. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Dash Buddy? Yeah. All right. So it's my turn to jump in the shower, and it is currently at 50.8. This is the Lawrence Tank Challenge. Uh, the goal here in Lawrence Tank Challenge is to use up less than, what did you use up? 30, 40%? 20%. 20%. Per, I don't, I mean, we've got footage here. So the camera doesn't lie. Right now it's at 50.8. Let's see what it looks like after I'm done. And, well, it's at 63.3%. The reality is that I've forgotten because we hadn't boondocked in so long how quickly the tank fills up. It fills up fast and I feel like I just 
quickly sprinkle myself just to get the bits and bobs and, and get out. But uh, apparently, it doesn't take much. So keep that in mind when you're boondocking. We have not boondocked in a while, but I can honestly say that since we've installed the the 3M tint to our windows that I don't believe at least either Lauren or I have flashed anybody. That's pretty cool. So if you don't know about our new tint that we've added to the Airstream, you'll definitely want to check out that video because the tint has been a game changer and it has definitely helped to keep the interior a lot cooler. But like I just mentioned, the privacy factor plus 10 points. So Dash hung out with dad, took a nap. I got the rest of the way ready for the day. And now what we need to do is we need to go run real life errands because tomorrow is big travel day. We have 700 miles ahead of us in the next five days to get to Maine where we are going to the Airstream Rally, which we're really excited about. But before we hit the road tomorrow, we need to A, fill up gas and B, grab some groceries. We decided that we were just going to find a local restaurant and we located a local Indian restaurant. Indian's one of our favorite foods. We're gonna go pick up food, we're gonna bring it back, and we're gonna chill instead. Instead of going food shopping, we'll just go food shopping at the next location. Can I still get diesel? We're still gonna get some diesel gas. We have to pick some up because always, always, number one rule, gas up before you hitch up. Remember that, friends. Gas up. Gas up before you hitch up. Shouldn't you say diesel up? Diesel up before you <laughs> hitch up. We have this, clearly this ongoing thing between gas and diesel. Fuel up before you hitch up. There you go. Oh, sunshine. We've been really careful about letting Dash spend too much time outside right now. Just because it's so hot and it's the summer. And thankfully due to the awesome work that we had done at Stunzeed and the tent that we've got on the Airstream now, it stays perfect temperatures no matter how hot it gets basically, which is awesome. And of course we're on 50 amps, so that does make a big difference too. It's not too hot, maybe we can go for a walk later. Food first, right? <laughs> and new is short lived and we were only paying $4.85 for diesel back up to 525 where we are in Virginia and hopefully I'd like to see it stay in the lower fives we'll see as we continue our adventure towards Maine but um, gas it adds up quickly diesel diesel it adds up quickly <laughs> fuel <laughs> seriously though if we can get these diesel prices down a little bit um, that would be amazing so if any of you have some pool please hook us up what do you think about that, Dash? Alright, food secured. Baby is relaxing. It's time to eat. Got a couple of curries, some cauliflower, rice, and naan. Alright, we're gonna take Little Man for a walk this evening. It is starting to cool down, which is really encouraging because it's typically hot during the day and i keep a stroller here in the back and this handy dandy travel case our really amazing friends gave us this case and we absolutely love it and it's coming handy because in reality we weren't quite sure where to store the stroller safely and now we have this case we can not only store it here in the back of the truck but we can also fly with this thing as well you've got the the gate check-in tag so that's pretty cool and then we're gonna lift this up I basically just take this out. I set it down like that. I lock it. A little release there. Okay, wasn't supposed to do that. I didn't lock it in place. That's on me. Now I'll get the stroller seat. This little 360 thing here. Clutch. Bam. Just like that. All right. So far, so good. Didn't get enough run earlier? Nope. 
think he likes it this evening. You never know. It really just depends on his mood. door service someone is happy to be home I think he has like a 30 minute walking max my buddy plus it's sleepy time usually around 8 30 we dim the lights do a final diaper change put on PJs for the evening and then snuggle and he'll eat for a while until he's ready to fully fall asleep and then, fingers crossed, if he has a good sleep night, first round should be between five to, for really lucky, seven hours. We'll see what tonight brings. Okay, little man is officially down, and this is the one time of the day where we follow the rule, when the baby is sleeping, you should be sleeping. So, we're grabbing our tea, and we are heading to bed. Truthfully, usually it's just me who gets up and feeds Dash in the middle of the night, but it's really hard to record yourself doing that. So, this guy has decided he is going to be giving it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my goodness. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for him. It's going to be one of those nights where Dash sleeps longer stints of time. But you just never know. Hopefully all night, and then, you know, be a mute point, because it'll just be getting up in a normal time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let y'all join us for this. It'll be fun. It's just before 3 o'clock, and the baby is awake. So, it's been awake sleep for about six hours. It's time to feed him. time three getting up with dash this will probably be the time we actually get up in the morning <laughs> after about an hour of eating and just rocking him he decided it was time to go back to bed but I don't have time for that this morning because Daniel and I have a 700 mile trip over the next five days to get us to Maine. So I'm going to grab some tea, get a little bit of caffeine on board, and start prepping for a big travel week. But here you have it. This is what a day in our life looks like with little Dash around. Are we a little sleepy? Yes. Will we trade it for the world? No. Because just like wandering local, little Dash, he's good for the soul. <laughs>